two alarming emergencies that turned out to be false are also wake up calls for emergency preparedness. Many in Hawaii didn't know what to do when a false alarm warning of a missile attack went out. And also this month, you might remember a false tsunami alarm at the Oregon coast left some feeling lost and panicked. Our Amy Frazier is now going beyond the headlines with how these unfortunate life lessons can also be a call to action. Amy? Jennifer, it's an opportunity for all of us to take a hard look at what we do in an emergency. From an earthquake to a tsunami to a wildfire, the possible threats in Oregon and Washington are real. The false alarm in Hawaii, warning of a missile, sent terror and helplessness across the state. We ran and I was totally freaking out. There were similar feelings in Seaside, Oregon on January 3rd after loudspeakers mistakenly blasted a tsunami warning. Ran into one girl who was crying hysterically, didn't know what to do, where to go. And I said, you need to go towards the hills and stuff. And she didn't know where the hills were. Today, we sat down with Chris Voss, the director of emergency management for Multnomah County. There are some people that that will actually drive them to action. Uh, I think there are some people also that will see those as sort of that desensitization or may see alerts and think and not take them as seriously. He says taking steps to prepare for an emergency can have a serious impact on your family's safety during the real thing. You know, I, I think that a lot of people are prepared for small events. And so um, the question is kind of interesting. You are prepared for the events typically that have happened in your past. If you haven't been through something like a wildfire. Unfortunately, it probably hasn't driven you to action as far. So what are some things you can do to prepare? First, we want people to sign up for um, public alerts at publicalerts.org. Also have a home emergency kit with enough supplies to last at least two weeks, including a gallon of water per person per day. Also make a plan for things like escape routes and family communications. Stay informed, be prepared, get involved. When it comes to emergency preparedness, there's a lot to know. There are also a lot of resources and checklists to help you prepare. We've posted that information tonight at coin.com. Back to you.